A season in 30 seconds here. Everything resting on this. And Jed Spence meets it. Dwayne Holmes. It's a painful one. He's just trying to do the right thing, which is help it back into an area, Dwayne Holmes. But it's on his weaker foot, and he can't control it. And that, you suspect, will be that. Corbrand, very gracious. It is Nottingham Forest time again. <laughs> A generation has grown up without Premier League football at the City Ground, but they will experience it once again. The first European Cup came 43 years ago tomorrow. The second, 42 years ago, yesterday, it is another glory day in May for Nottingham Forest. They've had to show real resilience all the way. A desperate start to the campaign. That's why Steve Cooper is here. He picked up the reins when they were rooted to the bottom of the table. At the end of the season in May, they taste the ecstasy of playoff triumph and they claim the ultimate prize. They feel like they've been playing knockout football for some time now. And they've certainly got a taste for it. Sometimes it's been brilliant, but it was all about digging in here, Don. Yeah, I have to say, Steve Cooper's post-match interview after they progressed in the second leg against Sheffield United summed the playoffs up and what it takes to win a playoffs absolutely perfectly. You've got to play well, you've got to be resilient, you've got to dig deep, you've got to ride your luck at times, and you've got to keep battling and plowing on and see where it takes you. Well, they've got the dream ticket now. And you have to say on the balance of play, really, there wasn't an awful lot in it, but if one team probably edged it, it probably was Nottingham Forest. And I think the stars of the show were their defenders, I have to say. Not a single shot on target for a Nottingham Forest goalkeeper to have to deal with. That, in a playoff final, is perfect defending. Congratulations to them, commiserations to Huddersfield. And just a thought, we saw Jordan Smith there. Now, my mind goes back right now to five years ago, the final day of the season. Forest were playing for survival. In the championship, they could easily have gone down to League One. He made a stunning save from Dominic Samuel of Ipswich at 0-0. They went on to win the game. Had he not made that save, who knows what might have happened. Well, he looks all right now. The adrenaline does wonderful things. Rhys Samba enjoying the dance. And the feeling sweeter for the length of the way for those Forest supporters. 23 years. You go back to the days of Ron Atkinson walking into the wrong dugout at the city ground. A, a desperate season after they had briefly enjoyed the high life again under Frank Clark after the end of the incomparable Brian Clough era. But the message from Wembley is that Forest are back. Well, this is exactly what this means to this bunch of supporters that have travelled down from the East Midlands. 23 years away from the Premier League, this generation of Forest players has made a little bit of history here. They've taken the team back to the Premier League for the first time this century. This will mean a lot to the players, it'll mean a lot to the players and the players' families and the fans. It'll mean a hell of a lot to this man. Let's get the thoughts of Joe Worrell.
Well done, Joe. Congratulations. As a lifelong Forest fan and the Forest captain now, what does this mean to you to be taking Nottingham Forest back to the Premier League? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, I'm just so proud. So, so proud. Of the, of the players, of the staff, fans. Uh, yeah, we've, we've been fantastic all season. I thought... Uh, Really unlucky, really, really unlucky to not go up automatically, in my opinion. I thought we were a really good value. We played with honesty, we've, we played football the right way. Um, and look, incredible, incredible. There has been a yearning from the fans to get back to the top division. Have you felt that more and more as the season's progressed? Yeah, we've. Uh, like I keep saying, we've, we've been really good, and uh, it's not just this season. I'm not saying we've been good in the past seasons because we have, we've been shy. But it's been a long time coming that this club hasn't been in the top flight, and uh, seen a lot of a lot of good people come and go, and they've all added to a little bit, half a percent, to um, to, to this football club, and. Uh, Fantastic. Such an such a honour to Captain Forrest. Joe, it's understandable with your emotions, but we must apologise for your language there. <laughs> what about today's game? Second half, Huddersfield got on the ball a bit more, but were you always confident that you could see it out? Uh, yeah, we, we don't mind suffering. We've suffered for a long time off the pitch. So half an hour is... It's nothing compared to uh, what we've suffered for, for so many years. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who's helped us. Everybody. Uh, I'll forget names if I even attempt to reel them off. But we've been really, really, really good value this season. And uh, I'm just so, so proud, especially for the manager. Um, such, a, such a nice blow. And he's, he's failed twice in the playoffs before and I'm absolutely made up for him. You can see it in his eyes when he talks to you in the, in the dressing room, around the, around the place. He calls me on my days off and I'm Steve Cooper, I don't know what he want, and he's just checking, checking up on me, checks up on all the players and he's fantastic. These little things that the people don't know about, um, really, really nice, genuine man and I'm made up for him. You, you were bottom of the league when he took over, so what on earth has he done to you? Given his unfair belief, I, I keep using uh, the uh, the expression of like a like a whipped dog. If you if you treat any any dog with kindness, and you they, they become a, a, a nice dog, you know what I mean. If you if you mistreat one, then they're they're aggressive, and we were we've been a mistreated team. And I think he's come in and he's he's uh, given us that hope, given us that belief. And he's uh, just been so nice. He's just ki killed us with kindness. And the fans absolutely adore him. Absolutely adore him. And um, I've made up for him. He's fantastic. He must be feeling so, so happy. And he deserves every single ball that comes his way because he's been in Manus. Every dog has its day. It's your day today, Joe. Well done. Congratulations. Go and enjoy it. Thank you. Cheers. I get the sense that he will enjoy it very, very late into the night. Articulate, passionate, empathetic, thoughtful, kind, caring. The type of leader Nottingham Forest fans absolutely love. Another one that they absolutely love. He's getting lots of love here pitch down as we watch Steve Cooper, Bree Samba take the plaudits. The deserved plaudits. This team, this group of men has made Nottingham proud. Stuart Pearce, can you try and sum this up? I think uh, the Forest captain there summed it up really well. I, th I think he spoke very well. Him, McKenna and Cook went to see the opposition at the end of the game, which I think was a classy touch by all three of them. And the stadium's bouncing now, and Nottingham Forest will be a massive credit to the Premier League next year. Let's spare a thought to Huddersfield. And, um, you know, deservedly well done. Really well getting here today. But I think probably over 90 minutes the better side won. So it was a closely fought game, and it's heartbreak, of course, for the Huddersfield Town players. Couldn't repeat the heroics of 20 
17. But Joby McEnough, Nottingham Forest, they've not seen Premier League football this century. Listen, we're very, very privileged to be at games like this, occasions like this. And I've got to be honest, I don't see, think I've seen a reaction like this. I mean, literally, the place has gone absolutely ballistic, as you can hear. And it feels, Brutz, like 23 years worth of pain and suffering and heartache has just erupted, exploded. All the emotions are coming out. And listen, it is a fantastic football club that has suffered. These fans have suffered. They go week in, week out. And it's just great to see them being able to share this moment. Brilliant, brilliant scenes and fully, fully deserved over the season. Yes, but also today they came and executed the game plan the best. Hef, of course, let's just part the Huddersfield hat for just a second. We'll come on to them in due course. The Terry is terrific over the course of the season. But how does it feel to win at Wembley in the playoff final? What are they feeling now? Big congratulations to Nottingham Forest, such a massive club. You see just the supporters here. They obviously deserve Premier League too. It means a lot for all the players. And I think it zooms it up that Steve Cooper comes to Nottingham Forest, sort them out and... and and they deserve it you have to say this with, without a doubt without a doubt this man he deserves any every praise because I, I i texted him when he when he take over this job if you can turn around nottingham forest and you get them to the premier league you're maybe the next guy from, from england you know as a laugh because i thought he couldn't do it he couldn't do it because there is like something around the place that you never will arrive in the premier league but he did it he did it and big praise to nottingham forest well done the main gist, of course, is playing the game, not the occasion, Stuart. Now they can celebrate the occasion, can't they, Nottingham Forest? They certainly can, and, well, listen, the atmosphere inside the stadium is quite incredible. I'm not sure I, I ever played at Wembley in a Forest team that had this sort of atmosphere. That's how much it means to this football club. They've waited a hell of a long time to actually get back into the Premier League. And, well, certainly myself, you that have been there and stepped out of the sea ground, very, very proud of their achievement. It's certainly a moment to share, it's a moment to savor. If you were a Forest fan, this is a moment of pure euphoria. Joe Warrell making his way up the Wembley steps. He has captain Nottingham Forest back to the Premier League via the playoff final for the trophy lift. Don Goodman and Daniel Mann. deserved it. I think we have to concede this club deserve it. Well, it couldn't happen to a nicer blow. And uh, what a reputation he is building, a reputation burnished still further. Steve Cooper who came into this club when they were very much on their knees on the bottom of the table. They pushed for automatic promotion and when you miss out on that there's often the potential that the heartache is just too great to get over but they've got over it quickly enough. Brilliant performance at Bramall Lane in the semi-final. A different kind of performance today but in many ways just as good. Joe will receive his medal following in the footsteps of as a Nottingham Forest captain. The Huddersfield players gathered on the pitch watching them. Lewis Scrappen is the club captain, we shouldn't forget. But absent through injury. <laughs> well, maybe a touch of relief that it's all over. They've got through the game. He said, you can do everything right and still end up on the losing side on an occasion like this. His old club 
pretty much did that last night Liverpool against Real Madrid in Paris but they have got it right they managed to keep their opponents at arm's length and do enough themselves to win the game and that is what it's all about Steve Cook he's uh, done it the old-fashioned way it's a different and very enjoyable experience one or two famous faces in the Royal Box it would be as to say Johnny Owen and Vicky McClure there a few legendary forest names in there including our old friend Gary Bertels as well who enjoyed this occasion more than most I'm sure well, here we go it is a new beginning for Nottingham Forest well it may not be a European Cup but for this generation it's their Munich it's their Madrid it's their moment again England's elite will be heading to the city ground again and what a roar awaits them a season that began wreathed in despair and difficulty ends in ecstasy the financial prize is huge but the football prize is as big as it gets and it belongs to nottingham forest It is richly deserved. Well, what a moment for these Nottingham Forest players. There's not a single free Nottingham Forest seat in their side of Wembley. Every single Reds fan has stayed, every single Reds fan has stayed here to watch these players lift this trophy, which confirms their return to the Premier League for the first time in 23 years. Bottom of the table, Stuart, when Steve Cooper took over. Now they're in the Premier League. Well, I think that's the most exciting thing about today's victory. The dedication, turning the team around, uh, getting the results that they needed just to get here. You know, and that's certainly credit to Steve Cooper. He'll take all the, the plaudits and come probably tomorrow morning. He'll have his eye on the Premier League and a potential building process, process to keep Forest in the league. Joby, we saw the game against Bournemouth just a few weeks ago when they were going for second. That doesn't matter now at all, does it? No, it doesn't, but I spoke to Steve Cooper after that, and he said, as long as we take something from that night, as long as we learn from the experience, he understands they've got young players in the squad, and he felt that that could help them a little bit further down the line in the playoffs, in big games, and learn how to handle big occasions, and I think they certainly did take something from that. My God, this is a very noisy Wembley stand. It was quite rightly so. If you're going to celebrate once in a generation success, why not do it right here at the home of football in the biggest game in domestic football? It's Nottingham Forest promoted back to the Premier League.